So that's uh, interesting to again see how they go. Denmark, great to see them in the final. And finally, uh, go Canada, who always managed to put out a competitive team. Yep, look, that was a fantastic uh, third place they, they made in the semi-final yesterday for the Canadians in lane one. They, they deserve uh, everything they get. And um, you can see the polls on the screen. They're looking pretty strong. And, um, you know, Pulaska, she was uh, on the podium in the K1 500. Uh, she's going to be driving that from lane, uh, from seat two. You see the Ukrainians. Well, the Ukrainians on the have five. Let's let's focus on in uh, Lisa Carrington and her mates, and they are mates, aren't they? Oh, that seem to be. They laugh around the dinner table. It's uh, been great to share the hotel with them this week. Put a lot of pressure on them at the moment. Anna Karatz, change of coach and change of dimension. She's really struggling the last couple of years, but she's really come into it. Yeah, let's, she's. Leading the K2 and the K4 this well this year, but um, this experienced German crew. I mean, uh, uh, you've got Franny uh, Weber in the front. She's uh, she's such a solid head in the front. So, see so the Danes looking sharp. Really impressed with their paddle uh, in the semis yesterday to to make it into this final in lane seven. You've only got about eight seconds to give Australia what they deserve. Ooh. Well, look, looking sharp, girls, and and so impressed with their season so far. I mean, a, a, a Australia's best time in Zeged and the silver medal. And uh, our compatriots, our friends from Canada, a big shout out to the Maple Leafs. My friend uh, Egg, he'll be uh, potentially watching over uh, in uh, early morning in, uh, in, in Quebec, Montreal. So, K4, 500 meters, Montemore Valley, 2018, World Championships final. If you're not up for this, you're not up for anything. Lisa Kang has been on the water about an hour and a half ago. Three medals so far. Danuta Kozak, second in the Hungarian boat, twice in the water, two gold medals, and they are off. And it does look like the Ukraine's had a nice start on the top of your picture. Yeah, lane three's jumped out nicely. But it's a fairly even run. The uh, New Zealanders are starting to push their nose just out from the Ukrainians now. So New Zealand lane four, Hungary lane five, and they changed around the combination, but last year they've got, put Captain Lisa in the front, so she's really taking down. It looks like she's inching ahead at the moment. Yeah, very nice, and really nice and controlled, rhythmical stroke from the New Zealanders. You can see the Germans on screen there. They'll be looking for a, a very fast finish, um, and they're really, they're, the Hungarians are in touch. They're, they're real close, and I think the New Zealanders will be um, will be very, very aware of what's going on to the left of them. So several baits are in charge, but it looks like the Hungarians and the New Zealanders psychologically donated Kozak cannot be beaten. They went away for a year, had a baby, came back and said business as usual. Incredible. Really incredible performances this week. And New Zealanders are looking really sharp. It's going to be a real squeeze to the line here. This is a, the last 150 metres of the race. It's, it's all do or die. It's about holding together and finding that rhythm, holding it all the way into the line. But at the top of your picture, it also looks really, really close. So coming in with about 50 metres to go, New oh, Zealand have done a final push fantastic again. Fantastic push there from uh, the back seats in that Kiwi boat. And I think they might have just edged out the... And now coming into the last few metres, oh, it's going to be so close. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Yesterday in the crew boats, we saw 200s and 400s. Wow. Great person who calls that. Wow. What a great race all around. We've had quite a few things today. We're getting on the screen, but it's not yet official, and we've had most of them being changed. Well, 10 metres out, we could tell you who's winning. Yeah. But yeah, the come... Ukrainians jumped out very nicely. As did the Five, Aussies. Four, two, and one. To the boat control. Yesterday, speaking Five, to... Four, Anna Kowatz, after her K2 500 victory, she said, well, we, we figured it in 15 metres to go, we, we'd won it so relaxed, and they won by, like, what, two hundredths of a second? Yeah, and said, wow. Afterwards, it was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be... Well, we're talking a lot about Tokyo, but it's really going to be... Look at this. Can you see the difference? Ooh. Different I, colour, that's I, I, I want to lean towards my, um, my Anzac uh, friends, but I, I can't be sure. It's quite deceptive because the black's difficult to pick it up. It is, and that's why they uh, they use the white tape on the nose is to differentiate that colour and that contrast for the the photo finish. Well, it's electronically done. I mean, the initial results on the screen are showing New Zealand, but let's wait. 
no one's daring to put up their, her, their fingers apart from Karolina Naya from, <laughs> from Poland, and she's grabbed a medal. Let's see what they give you. I guess when it comes on the screen, it's going to be official. You'd think it might take a little bit to well, separate those noses. They don't know yet. They don't look too happy. Probably felt like they were going to push through the Kiwis, but um, the last push by the girls in the black boat, uh, the, the All Blacks, whew, very impressive. Just timed their push to the, um, potentially to perfection. No one's celebrating yet. No, it's tense on the water. They're just paddling into the dock. I think the three boats that know they've got the, um, the medals around the neck today. Well, they're Polish, looking delighted. So yeah. Sometimes you, a bird in the hand. Indeed. No, they, they paddled a fantastic race. Right, well, could be interesting for Ross, unless he knows something we don't. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> they want to be sure, that's, that's, that's a certainty. I think the rest of the field, I mean, it's a, oh, here we go, we've got. It's given to Hungary by 13 hundredths of a second. Wow. That's uh, heartbreaking. Wow, mate. that is heartbreaking. I, th I think we've just got the official word through that Hungary are the gold medalists and the world champions in the K4500. An incredibly tight finish. I mean, can you believe it? Danuta, you've won so many races by so little, but it's another, another world title. And this is a big boat. It's important for you. What do you say about being world champions? Uh, this is a very good race. Uh, the New Zealand team is very hard. The, and yeah, uh, it's always so close to us. <laughs> Anna, you're at the front of the boat. Did you think you won? What did you think? Did you think that you had the gold medal? Yeah, I told we won, but it was so close again. Uh, but I felt like we are just a little bit behind the girls. It was a tremendous race. And ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic finish. I cannot wait for the Olympics. Put your hands together for the girls from Hungary, the girls from New Zealand, and the girls from Poland. I like to think you're a bit of an academic. How do you think New Zealand are going to handle this in the sense that they've been 400 set, 400th back, 200th back, and now 100th back? Is that a massive motivational, or is it? Oh, for sure. I mean, for these girls, they'll be, um, I mean, they'll, they will be, they'll, they'll be sort of reeling from having uh, thought they, they might have snuck the world championship there, but they'll go, go home. I know.